Hey everyone, it's Tremia, and it's been just a long, quiet weekend, still working on gaining my strength. Um, Buddy, he's doing really well. Um, you know, his incision to me just looks painful as can be, but you wouldn't, he doesn't even know he has had anything done. He's more playful and active than he was before he went and got the surgery. So he's doing really well. Um, and everybody's been concerned about Buddy. And he says, thank you. He says, arf. <laughs> and he's doing good. And I guess they said the stitches come out 10 to 14 days. So it'll probably be a week from tomorrow. Um, the night before I went, I guess it had been Tuesday night. Um, I was chewing a piece of gum, which I normally do, do not do, and part of my tooth, my very back tooth, crumbled off, and um, which I had noticed on one of the, uh, on Facebook, one of the groups, somebody was asking about, you know, how does lupus affect your teeth? Well, <laughs> not very good. I mean, the medications are really hard. I mean, um, you know, prednisone steroids it's hard on your bones and you know people have to get hip replacements and you know all that kind of stuff because of prednisone and it's hard on your teeth and I have always had excellent dental care my parents always made sure us kids got our teeth cleaned every six months and if we needed a filling, we got a filling. And as I grew older, if I needed a root canal, <laughs> I got a root canal. And, um, you know, it's always been something that, you know, I've always really taken good care of. I had orthodontics. Since I've been sick with a transplant, I haven't been able to wear my retainers. And so if you notice, my gap has come back. But I think I'm to the point to where I can start wearing my retainers again and get my teeth pushed back together because I don't like the gap. I mean, it's fine, but I prefer my teeth all close together. But anyway, the tooth crumbled. So like all week, yeah, I'm sitting there feeling it with my tongue. And it, it, it's not really hurting me. Um, sometimes I'm aware of it. And, um, but they started me on antibiotics yesterday, and I go to the dentist tomorrow, and I can feel that it fell out, that part of the tooth where it fell out was around a feeling that was already there in place. So hopefully, hopefully I don't need a root canal and a crown. And Sheldon has a dentist appointment tomorrow also. Um, when he got his last uh, teeth cleaned, he had a cavity. And they said, if it bothers you, you know, you're going to have to come back in and get a root canal and a crown. And it's still bothering him. And we didn't know we even had the appointments on the same day. And his is at 1 o'clock. I think mine's at 2 o'clock. <laughs> so, oh, you, you guys know how much that cost <laughs> you know I'm just to the point of finances I know with this last septic stay and everything and trip to Chicago you know we have to be getting close to the million mark you know we have to be getting close to there and um but last night when I was taking my shower, or after I take, you know, Dwayne has to help me. Not shower, but get my clothes off, get me into the shower. I have a shower chair in there, and we have a handheld shower. So I can do my bathing by myself, but then he's got to get me out. And I put on a terry cloth robe, and, you know, that dries my body basically, except for my legs and my head. And I'll dry off my head, and he'll dry off my legs, and then he'll put my lotion on me because, you know, prednisone, it's bad on your skin. And um, we do that, and I was crying, and he goes, what are you crying about? And I said, I'm, you know, I can't dress myself. And, you know, and it just, 
you know, so that was my crying moment. And he goes, but, you know, I think we're heading in the right direction now. You know, we got your white blood cell count up, and the IVIG will give you the immune system you don't have. So, you know, we'll fight off those infections, bacterial and viral, because of the IVIG. And so, like, um, we just had a seven-month sidetrack, you know. And so, like, now we're starting out where I should have been, like, seven months ago. But that's okay. At least, you know, I'm going in the right direction. I mean, it's been... A horrible, horrible seven months. I don't know how I made it through it several times. Um, other than that, God never forsake me, and He's my refuge. Um, tonight we had planned on going to church for the first time since February 9th, but it's down like in the 40s here, and uh, I just couldn't do it. Um, I watched church online, and it was a full service, like an hour and 30 minutes, and just laying in bed watching it, I wasn't physically able to do it, and comprehend, and to pay attention, and I knew it's a 20-minute drive to church, plus I'd have to get ready, you know, and I'm just not physically capable yet which that breaks my heart but the time will come that I can go to church and and be at my church home we've been there for 13 years and I miss it so that's everything in Tremia and Buddy's world uh, Dwayne cooked the last three nights in a row and we've had wonderful wonderful food he is an awesome cook and he said my limit is three nights in a row. <laughs> so he ordered pizza. So we're going to have pizza, and I'll have that left over for lunch tomorrow. And we seem to be getting my blood sugar under control, which is good, because there's several times that I don't have to take my fast acting, and I like that. <laughs> That's a good thing. So all is well here. It's kind of cold. Buddy was shivering, so we turned up the heat a little more, and I put his little blanket on him, and so we'll just see how the rest of the night goes. Um, I'm afraid to put a sweater on him because of his incision, so I think we'll just have to, you know, do the blanket and um, go from there. So that's it from this end. I'll see you guys in the next video.